to Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AMD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this may look like several days worth of time right there, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I did this analysis on Friday, but want to get things updated here. As once again, the price has put in some new highs and just continues to build upon the uptrend. Uh, pullback, not the best thing in the world, but by no means am I saying that that implies that the entire chart's ruined or anything like that. But let's map out some levels of support and resistance. Newest area of support was just uh, the level of resistance going into today, and that's just a, a foundational principle in charting. When levels of resistance are broken, you wanna see them act as support. So 885 was a resistance going into today, and you can see a great real life example of just that very concept I talked about in regards to levels of resistance, then turning into support. And you can see multiple times here, I guess it didn't quite hit it, but I think we can all agree got well within the vicinity. And then later on this afternoon, once again, price got within the vicinity of 885. And that is definitely acting the way you'd want to see it. Now, don't get me wrong. If the price drops below 885, I'm not saying that the whole chart's ruined or anything like that. But preferably speaking, if the price can continue to hold above 885, that would be you know a very good sign of strength for the bulls. Next overall area of support after 885, right down there around $8.35 but then also keep an eye on the overall trend indicator, which is that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average. Really at the end of the day, as long as the price is up above that purple line, then in my opinion, the bulls are in full control, the bulls are in full health, and they you know, are totally owning the chart. So as, a, as it stands right now, bulls are in complete control of the chart. You know, and again, even if the price were to drop below that green line, bulls are still in control because it's still you know, well up above these other areas of support. Now, what about levels of resistance? If this upwards move is going to continue, where are some of these next battlegrounds at? Key area of resistance, and I'm just going to talk about only this one today, uh, is right up there at $9.25. Uh, that is, you know, kind of where the party stops. So that's going to be the, the next key overall level. Um, by no means am I saying that the price has to break through levels of resistance tomorrow or anything like that. All you want the chart to do is basically repeat history in terms of building higher bases. So not every single day you have to break through levels of resistance, but as long as the price is putting in higher lows, building those higher price points, that's the name of the game from a long-term perspective. One of the most popular questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then by all means click right there to get access to the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and like I say, it is free. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.